Have you ever been playing Minecraft for a while, and you just kinda got bored of everything? You keep switching between server and server, trying to find what you want to do, but every time you join, you just aren't really motivated enough to actually play it. Well, what if there was an easy way to find brand new, exciting servers to play? And no, I don't mean one of those websites where people submit their servers and then beg you to vote for them so then they get to the front page. I mean a full, complete list of every single Minecraft server that exists with no bias whatsoever. Well, lucky for you, I made a Discord bot to do just that. Now if you're just a casual user and want to know the basics on how to use the bot, I'll go over that really quickly, but if you're interested on how the bot actually works and obtains all those servers, then I'll explain that after. The video will be timestamped so you can just skip to that section if you want. The main two commands you'll probably ever use are slash random, which just pulls a completely random server out of the database, and slash search, which lets you use filters to get a list of all the servers that match the things you're looking for. There's currently 10 different filters you can use, and it would take too long and probably be a waste of time to explain them all in this video because they're likely to change in the future anyway, so you can use slash help to get a detailed description of what each one is. Obviously, if you look at an old command, then all the information on that server will be outdated, so you can use slash ping to get the newest, most updated info on a server. You just copy paste in the IP address and port if it's not the default 25565 and it'll fetch new data. You can also check if the server is cracked or requires you to have a full premium account with the slash auth command. Again, just put in the IP and port if it's not the default one and it'll use my API to check if it's a cracked server. And finally, there's the slash stats command, which will tell you how many servers are in the database, and then some stats about the bot itself, like how long it's been up and how many Discord servers it's in, but the bot stats are more for me, so you don't really have to pay attention to those. That's all you need to know to use the bot, so now if you're interested, I'll talk about how the bot actually works. You know how in the multiplayer menu, you can see some information about a server before you even join, like the description, the players online, etc. Well, what's happening there is that your computer is asking the Minecraft server for its info without even having to join. So my bot is able to act in place of that Minecraft game and ask any random server for info, and if it responds, then I know it's a Minecraft server. Then I can just repeat this process over and over again to every single possible IP address until I accumulate a massive list of every single Minecraft server. The pretty obvious problem is, though, that it would take forever. Just going into the Minecraft multiplayer menu, you can see it takes a second or two just to get the information from a handful of servers you have saved. So how I do it is, instead of just individually sending the request to each server one at a time, I do it to many servers at once. I send out the requests and wait for each of them to respond back one at a time, and then I do the same process for each of them, just many at once in a big batch. The Discord bot and the script doing the scanning are actually hosted separately, so what happens is that there's a separate host that's constantly scanning all the servers and accumulating a big database, and then whenever you enter a command into the Discord bot, it'll fetch that information from the database. So I'd just like to say really quick before I wrap up that server scanning is really fun. I found a lot of cool servers that are really unique and fun, but not that popular, and I wish they would get more attention. This one I'm showing right now is called Concept Prisons, and it's a really unique and fun, interesting twist on the traditional prisons mining type server. I've had a lot of fun on it the past few days, and I highly recommend checking it out. Another server that really stood out to me was mcfania.net. And it's still under development and not too much is functional yet as far as the games go, but the maps absolutely blew me away. This is just a single developer working on this entire server, and the map making is just incredible, and I was completely blown away when I first saw it. So far, there's only two working game modes, so not too much to do yet, but it was still really cool to explore the server. I've talked some with the owner and they've said that they have a lot of features planned to come out pretty soon so I'm very excited to see the finished product and if you're seeing this video a few months in the future then I highly recommend checking it out.
So, sorry that this video took so long to make. I've been working on this for a really long time, and I've actually already fully recorded this video multiple times, but the bot changed so much I had to redo it. You can even go to the bot's official Discord and go back to some really old messages, and you can see it used to be completely different. I hope you're able to have fun with this bot, and if you have any questions, you can leave it in the comments, or join my or the official bot's Discord and ask them there. As always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.